Thank you for tuning in to the Law Nation Film Session as we take a deeper look at Brandon Eagles. He's six foot four, north of 225 pounds, and he's a guy that can high point the ball, big physical guy, plays better inside the slot opposed to outside by himself. Nevertheless, he's strong, he's physical, and off of his routes and in off of his cuts, he's pretty good, can track the ball pretty well. Now, he is hesitant a little bit on the 50-50 ball, but he's not afraid to go inside the traffic or inside the middle of the field to pull the ball in. And on top of that, he is a big guy who amps himself up when he's playing against the smaller DBs. Now, against physical DBs, he have a little issue. However, I think that he's a little raw in a sense. And he was a track athlete in high school, so he runs with great deed of anticipation. He can't take the top off the defense. When he's inside, he's explosive, he's one-dimensional as it relates to straight line speed. He got a little wiggle, made big explosive plays over there in Texas, over six plays over 20 yards or more in the air. So he can get to the top for the defense and take it off. I believe that he's so unpolished that a lot of times when you look at his film you will say to yourself okay why is this guy not drafted oh i see why now because he have issues with just the small things and i believe that from the pandemic kind of set this kid back he didn't get a chance to get majority of those things as it relates to development so if you look at his release point this is pretty good off this release give the guy a stutter go not able to put his hands on them, especially smaller DBs that have difficult problems redirecting. And watch, mm, he gets up field, pretty much he get around the jam, and he leaves the guy. Straight line speed is everything. He runs a 4 5 40. So he's not the fastest guy in the world, nor the slowest. But by his size, for being north of 225 pounds, that's pretty good. <laughs> that body is moving. And that's just what he would do. He will destroy the smaller DBs. Now, a physical DB, he have little problems getting off of his release. And he's a difficult guy to get down. So that, that just comes with size. I think that his blocking ability, he's committed to block. But he's not the blocking guy that you would put in as a tight end. Uh, here's another situation here. He's so physical. And at the top of his route, the DB just just get the flag on this one because they turn inside trying to fight for that position of the ball and nine times out of ten they're gonna call that on the opposing team he's just running his space right there and he's able to get at the top and look he beat the guy and he fights into the inside of his body so that's a good thing so when you're that big you can draw the flag that's good all right so here he is in the middle of the field and like I said, he's difficult to get down. And you will see that he's very explosive after catching the ball, believe it or not. He is. He is. Now, he's not the well-refined route runner. But I believe that by his size, puts you in the mind of a, of a Brandon Marshall, uh, in the mind of a, of a T.O., those big body frames. And I'm not saying that he's those type of guys, but as far as the body frame, he fits into that category. Yards have to catch. He explodes once the ball get into his hands there. So I look at Brandon Eagles as a guy that's not afraid to catch the ball, come back. He tries to catch it with his hands. It's a situation where is when you look at the guy's physical size and you look at what he did for Texas, leading the team in receptions and being the go-to guy for Sam, I think that an unpolished stone like this can go into this next level. And if they have time to develop him a little bit more, you got you a dynamic guy who's six foot four, north to 225 pounds, that is not afraid to catch the ball in the middle of the field. Now, this pass right here was a little behind him. And this is another thing that we want to show you. When the ball is outside of his frame, he does not make the circus catch. Now, I know the ball is behind him. Sam should have led him a little bit right in here. And he could have did something with it. But you don't see a lot of circus catches from him. You don't see a lot of when the ball is too low or too high. You don't see him going to get it. So in the situational 
standpoint, I think that the other undrafted guys are a little bit better than him in that, the TJ Vashers and the Osiris Mitchell. But where he comes out on top, I think that, look at this blocking. I got to show you guys this right here. Just maul this guy. And that's just the mindset. I had to put this in there. Just cream him. Finish just cream him. Uh, I think that Eagles will be able to, to bring that level of competition in training camp tall physical receiver and when he sees that he's on a smaller db he just explodes look he wins off of his release and, and back to my point i think that tj vasher is the better jump ball out of everybody as far as the undrafted guys i think that uh, osiris mitchell is very raw in a sense and he will have to go through a lot of growing pains but I think that the level of competition will bring out the best in him. He's six foot five, by the way. So these tall wide receivers got the uh, got the weight of the world on their shoulders as it relates to competition. And Simi Fioku is the better polished route runner, stop and go, taking the top off the defense. So we will see where his heart is at as far as the level of competition out of the taller wide receivers that's fighting for that final spot. Now, when you look into this role right here, Brandon Eagles, you will see that he will win off of his release. He gets up, a little physical. You can get physical at the first five yards, get his hands into the inside. He actually just swam over this little guy. And Sam should throw the ball to the edge of the pylon. He throws the ball underneath, and he had to make the adjustment for the ball now he had to play db <laughs> but sam should have thrown the ball to the back end of the pylon yeah but he passed it kind of too close inside so they move him back inside the slot and he just destroys him watch how he sink his hips find the open spot and for a six foot four guy that's pretty good just sit down on that route sink his hips at the top and squeeze out to the edge here I like seeing this off of big players because it's just like playing basketball. You can shoot him out. Look at the spacing. He plays like he's going to go into the outside here. He's going to cut back inside and then he cut back inside again. Yeah, look at that. And there's nothing he can do because he want those hip to flip. But he flipped the hips. Once the hips are flipped, he got a uh, he got a way to get back inside right here because of that size. And he know he can shield him off. And he know he won this route just from the release. Look how tall and how big he is shadowing over this DB here. So that is what he know how to utilize more so than anything. Give him a little shuck right here. Plant the foot. Yep. And get back inside. Look, he's that back inside. The quarterback can throw the ball anywhere in his proximity and he got to fight through the body now so that is smart route running i like it and he knows how to pull the ball in with his hands he's a big physical target and that's why he will utilize in the red zone opportunity now he disappeared in some games and i believe that he still got a ways to go he's undrafted for a reason that's why coaches coach that's why coaches coach though so when you look at his complete body of work i think he come in as a developmental piece i think that he's not afraid to catch the ball across the middle i think that he got the mindset to say to the majority of his critics hey i'm ready to show and prove everybody wrong and got a good body to shield off the smaller defenders look it's all about spacing in this situation and and i believe the Cowboys philosophy of going out, grabbing these bigger, taller, faster, stronger receivers. They're trying to put the best product available. They got guys now that can climb the ladder, shifty enough. And that's what I'm saying. He, he's more quick than fast. <laughs> Look at this big boy. He's more quick than fast. Watch how he put this guy on a yo-yo, yo-yo, and he gets extra yards there. He's explosive when he's playing against smaller DPs. My overall notion of Brandon Eagles. It's a cold-blooded name. His last name is Eagles, and I would only would like for him to make the team if he can catch a 20 to 30 yard big pass down the field against the Eagles. <laughs> All right, so outside of that, it's an uphill battle for him. It is. In my opinion, collectively speaking, he's like a taller Noah Brown. When you look at all of his film, you look at all his clips, right? And you already got Noah Brown, 
who is already ingratiated himself into the system who knows the system and on top of that you got a cedric wilson who knows the system you got so many things that you have to fight for as it relates to this wide receiver play and i just don't see anybody pretty much making a loud loud noise to overcome semi fi hoku who is a drafted pick and you know how that goes when you're drafted you get a little bit more privileges opposed to when you're undrafted so unless injuries occur during this off season or during this training camp outside of their just raw performance during the uh, training camp it's an uphill battle for any of these wide receivers to make the team if i'm brandon eagles my first objective will be to find out how i can be on the special teams how i can get cool with bone fossil how i can do extra work in assignment can you put me on kickoff return pump returns i want to be the guy that can do each and everything or anything to make this team so that will be his best assignment to find out who is bone fossil to see if he can make it via the special team and just ball out during this training camp and don't pray for somebody to get injured of course but be ready for the opportunity i say it all the time it's better to be prepared for an opportunity and not have one than to have the opportunity and not be prepared so he's going to have to get his mind together and focus in and learn that playbook opportunity is there he just got to take it that's been my time i really thank you all for yours and remember you're listening to nothing but the best go cowboys post me your thoughts on brandon eagles Impressive.